There is a new and yet old school option for eating and entertainment in Detroit. I'm excited about this. Tim Pamlin takes us inside Ready Player One. We're looking at Skywood in the Globe Tobacco Building. That's what it was. That's where they used to hang all the tobacco to dry back in 1888. Now we're going back in time, well, to the 1980s, when Atari and Sega was the soundtrack of your life. Pac-Man. Galaxy, Space Invaders, and Donkey Kong. Well, what is old is new again, with downtown Detroit being flooded with 20-somethings like Krista here. Well, it's like a vinyl record. It's cool. A lot of the, the crowds, they didn't grow up with arcades in the eight, like there were in the 80s. So, you know, this is all new to them. But for the older generation, this is kind of a, a blast from the past. It's a very nostalgic feel. Simpsons, you know, it's classic. They have everything from the Simpsons game to Donkey Kong, to Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. What on earth is that all about? And he uses his Moonwalker skills to turn into a robot and shoot lasers at aliens, so. <laughs> they do have a full menu, including mac and cheese and sliders, and a fully stocked bar to whet your appetite. They say if you're eating and drinking, you play for free. And being gamers and, and seeing these arcade bars pop up over throughout the country, we said it was, it was a no-brainer to bring it to Detroit. The place is called Player One Ready, and it's at 407 East Fort. The grand opening is tomorrow. That's the scene, downtown Detroit. Tim Pamplin, local four. I'll take Ready you Player on for Miss Pac-Man. Is that That's your game? game? I was like Tetris. Uh, in fact, I read a great thing just today about how Tetris teaches you everything you know, need to know about life. Number one, your failures all start to pile up, and your successes disappear very quickly. Oh. <laughs> That's all you need to know about life. There you go. <laughs> local four, dude.